So AMD have announced their Ryzen 7000 series desktop CPU based on the Zen 4 architecture. But should we upgrade from our older systems? Let's have a chat about the new CPUs from AMD. And at the end of the video, we are going to discuss if we really need to upgrade or not. Currently, it's four CPUs we are talking about. The flagship model is the 7950X with 16 cores and 32 threads. The base clock is at an impressive 4.5 GHz, but the boost clock can reach actually 5.7 GHz, and the price of the CPU is set at $699. The next one is the 7900X with 12 cores, 24 threads, the base clock is at 4.7 GHz, and the price is $549 on that CPU. The next down the line is the 7700X. It has 8 cores, 16 threads, base clock of 4.5, and a price of $399. And after that, it's the 7600X with with 6 cores, 12 threads, base clock of 4.7 and a price of 299. The launch of these CPUs are in September 27. Since these CPUs are a new architecture, you need to buy a new motherboard and memory if you want to upgrade. And for this type of platform, the only supported memory here is DDR5 and it will not support DDR4 memory at all. The new socket is called, uh, surprisingly, AM5. Along with the CPU release, we get a new 600 series chipset where the high-end chipsets will be available at launch and the uh, middle tier or lower end chipset will be available a few months after launch. The AM5 sockets is also compatible with the AM4 socket coolers, so uh, you don't have to replace your cooler if you're going to upgrade at least. So these are claims from AMD. They are claiming that you get about 29% gain in single threaded work and you get about 45% gain in multi-threaded work and the entire Zen 4 architecture gives you around 13% IPC gain. So IPC means instructions per clock. So that means if you have 4 gigahertz on the lower generation and 4 gigahertz on the newer generation, the 4 gigahertz on the newer generation will still be able to do 13% more. I think that's the correct way at least. So that's the bullet points of the uh, new CPU release from AMD. A few years ago I built a Ryzen 3900 based system. It's actually a CPU from 2019. It was released in 2019 and the recording of this this video we are in 2022. The system has been working really well and I have been doing my main content creation on that machine with Windows. However, if I have a really heavy Ableton Live project, uh, Ableton Live is a music uh, production software if you don't know that, if I'm recording a video in OBS at the same time I may see some audio drop dropouts uh, depending on the project of course. If I have a lot of tracks on the project obviously it's going to be more heavy on the CPU if I have a smallish project. But in 95% of my cases uh, it's certainly powerful enough uh, for my use still. But video editing is another thing. I just got this new camera which records high quality 4K video and it takes a toll on the computer in terms of performance, that's for sure. Editing the video on the 3900X is working just fine. I can see that having something that performs better uh, would be nice. And I have thought about replacing the uh, 3900X in my system with, uh, for example, a 5950X. It's nothing wrong with buying use, but however, I'm probably going for the 7950X, uh, especially after what I saw today. Day. Of course we have to wait for official benchmarks uh, to see how it really performs and uh, I don't have any, any pre-production CPUs, I, don't, I have to watch other videos for that. So it's nothing wrong in having an older PC if it gets your job done. But I'm thinking about upgrading this time actually. If you're interested in seeing more Ryzen content or benchmarks in music production, there should be some video pop-ups at the end of this video. Are you happy with your current system or are you planning an upgrade yourself? Let me know in the comments below. And that's all for today. Take care and goodbye.